Hey guys, Wells Knight here, bringing you another brand new episode of FTB Departed, and this is going to be the last episode of FTB Departed, I believe. Um, I know that some of you are really disappointed that the series is going to be ending, and I can understand that. I know that a lot of you really enjoy this series, but, you know, to be blunt, I'm I'm just not. I, I mean, my, my heart's just not in it, and... Uh, that's gonna. That's not gonna make for good content. I'm just. I've had my fill of Departed. I'm ready to move on to other things and other mod packs. I do have some really cool ideas, which I think you're gonna enjoy. There's a few things that I'm looking fairly seriously at. One of which is called Garden of Glass. It's basically the latest uh, update for Botania, which is one of the mods in this mod pack, and uh, it allows you. It, it's kind of like. Skyblock meets Botania. It's really, it looks really interesting. So I might give that a try. Um, I'm also looking at some other mod packs. Horizons Daybreaker, which is the newest one. That's looking pretty cool as well. Uh, a lot of options, a lot of different options. And I want to move on to something that's, uh, you know, new for me and, and, and fun and enjoyable and all that kind of stuff. I'm just... I'm just not really feeling Departed anymore. You know, I've I've done 25 episodes of it. I've played hours upon hours of it. I tried my hand at the Magic Mods, and I just... I don't know, guys. I just can't get into it. I'm sorry. But uh, that's, that's the simple truth. So, uh, what we're going to do in this episode is we are going to explore a couple of the dimensions that we have not yet looked at. So, I've got a Realm Stone for Christavania. I also... Let's see, what else have we not? We haven't looked at Sleeve or the Ancient Cavern. Uh, I believe we've looked at the Abyss, but I'm not sure. And Mysterium, I'm pretty sure we haven't looked at either. So, we're going to take those with us. Um, now, a couple things to note. You guys did mention that the reason that my uh, Sash of the Traveler, uh, right here, the Sojourner's Sash, the reason that that's not working anymore is... Get away. Is because uh, I need to have mana now for it to work properly, so I need to carry around like a mana tablet or something like that. And that makes sense. Uh, that is something you can apparently disable in the config files if it bothers you. Uh, another thing that you guys had mentioned was that I don't actually need to build a separate one of these structures for each realm. I can simply insert the realm stone in, and it will automatically change to the correct one. So that's pretty cool. So let's head into Mysterium, which I know almost nothing about. And it looks like the spawn here is less than desirable. Um, I don't think I can make that. So this is Mysterium. It's, uh, very dark and kind of gloomy, foresty. Looks almost like everything here is a mushroom of some sort. Um, I don't think I'm going to explore this one just because our we didn't really get a great spawn. Um, let's take a look at the Abyss. What is in the Abyss? This is apparently kind of a nether-like, underworld, scary, ooh, red tentacle eyes. All sorts of creepy, nasty things. Let's see. We should probably add a waypoint. Uh, portal. I'm just going to save that. That way I can find my way back when the time comes. That's probably a good idea. Oh, what are the- what? What are these things? Oh, I don't... Th oh, man. There's some nasty enemies in here. Some very nasty enemies. With what appears to be some fairly interesting loot. We got a Book of Shadows, which is from Advent of Ascension. Okay, looks a lot like the Botania books, actually. Let's just kind of... Can I make it up here to where I'm safe? Yeah. Let's take a look at that Book of Shadows. Uh... Okay, I guess it's not a book that you can read. There are nasty things. You guys probably can't see, like, at all. Pixens. Okay. Eyes. 
creepy things all over the place. A hole that... Whoa, oh, 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 oh. Oh, these things are everywhere. And I am withered. I am very, very withered. Ow. Okay. I think it's time to get out of this dimension. I think uh, I would like to survive. So let's get out of here. And let's move on to the next one. What have we got next? The Ancient Cavern. Okay. Let's give this a go. Oh! And attacked instantly. Get... Goldorth? What? What? What in the world? It's... Sh it's showing all sorts of crazy things. I don't... Oh! Oh, wow. Okay. Okay. Oh! I'm getting... What am I... Can I make it up here? Oh, jump, jump, jump. Am I safe up here? I appear to be. I'm gonna eat some food. What in the world are these things? I guess we'll just let our crossbow do the work for us. Um, but I need to figure out how to get out of here. Okay, there's the portal. Okay. So I probably don't want to knock these guys into the portal because they'll probably never come back. Or I'll encounter them the instant I come out and go the other way. Is this some sort of like a, a challenging boss fight? Although it seems like every time I kill a couple enemies, more stuff just appears. All right, I think it's time to go. Let's get out of here. Whew. That's a really interesting one. I would have liked to kind of see some of the loot. Oh. I know what this is. This is the killer clown dimension. Isn't it? Look at this. Killer clowns. And... A very long way down. So, you know what I'm going to do? I'm, oh, this is dirt of some sort. Do I have a... I have a shovel. Let's just get a little bit of this. And I'm just going to use that to make a bit of a pathway, just so we don't accidentally fall, because that would really kind of stink. That would be a fitting end to the series, don't get me wrong. In true form, you know. This is a very colorful dimension, though. With killer clowns, with killer clowns, which, ow, those things actually kind of hurt. And sometimes you don't want that wind beneath your feet buff. Like when you're trying to avoid falling into the abyss. You know, it's not always a good thing. But look at this, killer clowns. Killer clowns. Gotta love that. I'm going to take a screenshot next time one is running at me. Are there more over here? All right, we got our screenshot. We got our screenshot. Let's, oh, a debuff. A rather nasty debuff, actually. I hate that kind of drunken looking, I don't, I don't know what it is, nausea? It's almost like you're drunk, it's terrible. And also not really the kind of debuff you want when you're in a world that you can fall out of and die. Hmm. Maybe we'll actually do a little bit of exploring in this one. Oh, 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 where'd you come from? These guys, they're everywhere. All right, let's, oh. Bobo, Bobo the Clown, lovely. All right, let's dig in here for a while. Is there anything in here worth getting? Any sort of like special ore or anything like that? Or is it basically just a hole that leads to the bottom of the world? That's kind of what I'm thinking. I think we probably would have encountered something by now. <coughs> hmm, excuse me. Other than this dirt, at least. 
Hmm. Let's see what the structures in this place look like. Because every dimension has structures of some sort, although I'm not really seeing any around here. I don't know. Oh, hello, clown. Your name is Sticky. Oh, and Sticky backed me into a wall. Bobo. Again. Goodbye, Bobo. Did we get any decent loot from all of this? Clown banner, circus coin, sleeve gems, eh, some okay stuff, I guess. No, uh, no custom armor or equipment or anything like that, though, unfortunately. But I suppose that's, that's fine. I would like to see kind of what this dimension has to offer in terms of equipment, but it's kind of looking like that's not going to be the case. There we go. Hmm. Okay. Well, let's head into the next dimension, I think. Let's see, what have we got left? Crestavia. Alright, let's take a look at Crestavia. This is the only dimension that we have left. S Portal kind of looks like stained glass windows. Seizure warning, I guess. Hopefully none of you have seizures. Alright. Ooh, it's... Very dark in Crestavia. I was expecting something bright and colorful. I mean, it. Ooh, what in the. Whoosh? Things are blowing up. Where. What am I. Am I getting shot at or. Or are things just randomly exploding? That's an aura node from Thomcraft. Okay. Purple crystal ore. Let's get a little bit of this. I have no idea what it's used for, but... Purple crystals... So, is there a... As far as I can tell, this doesn't seem to be a dimension that you can just... You know, fall out of and die, which is always good. More crystals, though. I think, if I, I remember correctly, I think I was watching... Uh, Zuljan, who some of you may be familiar with, he's one of the Hermitcraft guys, he did FTB Departed on Twitch for a while, and I think if I remember correctly, I saw him come into this dimension, and they figured out that these, uh, these ores of various colors have some purpose related to the dimension, because there's like, uh, robots or something that, uh, change colors, and are only damageable at certain times, and it had something to do with that. I don't remember the details. It's been a, it's been a while, guys, so you'll have to forgive me. But uh, I seem to remember that they figured out that these crystals serve a purpose uh, within the within Crestavia, within this dimension. So you guys may have to experiment for that a little bit yourselves. I would like to find. Ooh, I'm almost out of food. Hmm. And there are just explosions going off all over the place. Oh! Oh! Enemies! Okay. He's down. He's down. These guys are not all that hard to kill. But you'll notice that all the enemies that we're seeing are the same color. They're all that kind of yellow shape. So, here's a question. No, can't use that on him. Ow. Okay, I don't really know... Ooh. Man, he's hard to hit. You know what? We'll just whack him with a sword. Get him. There we go. That actually... We actually took a little bit of damage. Hmm. Now if we can find our portal... That's gonna be the hard part. I think our portal was kinda up... Oh, there it is. I see it. Alright, I'm gonna head out of here, guys. But we've covered all the dimensions that I could cover, uh, you know, that I already had realm stones and stuff like that for. There's still plenty more for you to do in this mod pack, if you are interested in it. Um, I personally am not, but don't worry. There will be more stuff. Not more Departed, but there will be more modded series. I'm going to find some sort of really cool mod pack I, or uh, something modded, something very cool to kind of fill this gap. I don't know what it's going to be yet, but I have, I'm looking at a few different things. 
Uh, and also, I will put a world download up for the final world, uh, just so you guys have it. I know I just put one up a couple episodes ago, but just in case, uh, I will put up the world download, which uh, will be in the description. So, I think that's going to do it for Departed, guys. I hope you enjoyed this series. I enjoyed it for a while, uh, but I think it's time to move on. So, guys, if you enjoyed this video and this series, don't forget to like, subscribe if you haven't already, uh, and follow me on Facebook, Twitter, all that kind of good stuff. Links in the description. Other than that, thanks for watching, and I'll definitely see you next time.